When you face a tragedy, you learn to make sense out of it. You learn to hunker down and become tough. But dealing with a tragedy individually as a person is easier than being tested with those that are around you and those that are beloved and dear to you. When a father sees his child pass, it's much heavier on the heart. When a brother loses his sister, it's very heavy on the heart. Just this week, due to the bombing in Gaza, some students of ours lost 20 family members in one day. 20 family members, over 20 family members were lost in one day. Shocked, heartbroken. Because when you're tested with your beloved ones, the pain is a little bit deeper. For the Prophet wasallam, he was tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah reward him in the full capacity. For his test, Not only were they a means of elevation for him, but they became a lesson for us. That today when I sit with those students and tell them that may Allah give you ajr and give you sabr for the family members that you've lost in this tragedy, we have a reference with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That remember that your prophet and my prophet, he was also tested with his family. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam returns back from Badr Muslims had just experienced one of the mightiest and greatest victories. And when he arrives in Medina from the battlefield, he sees that his daughter is being buried. Seeing the death of your own child and witnessing the burial of your own child is never easy. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his own son Ibrahim, as he passed away, he was in the lap of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he rocked with the child and he held his child and tears rolled down his face. I was watching a video of a father who, was, who had just finished the burial of his children in Gaza. And those tears that came out, he was saying that these tears are of the pain of separation. Just as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa cried, when his son Ibrahim passed away. But this man who's burying his own child in Gaza, he then says with tears coming out, that I will never utter a word that displeases my Lord because this pain will disappear, these tears will disappear. My child will be resurrected and I will be resurrected and the oppressor will be resurrected. But the words that I say will remain. How will I face my Allah when I turn my tongue against Allah in the moments that I should have been patient. So when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's beloved dear son Ibrahim passed away, the Prophet was crying. And someone said, Messenger of Allah, why are you crying? And he said that Al-Ainu Tadma' wal Qalbu Yahsin, that the eye cries, the heart grieves. Wa inna ala firaqika ya Ibrahim la mahzun. That oh Ibrahim, we are so sad that you left. But however, I do not say but what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And oh Ibrahim, we are truly saddened by your departure. The Prophet Sallallahu example is just so phenomenal. It's so interesting. You won't find the scenario where you are struggling with something, but there will be a source of inspiration within the lines of revelation. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala allow us to connect with the beautiful example of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May he bless us with strength as he blessed his prophets and his beloved ones with strength in their moments of difficulty. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.